Hey everyone, uh, just want to really give everyone a big, big thank you for all the support. Uh, just blown away. 19,000 subscribers. You know, I had, I was going to do this last night. It was just really, really emotional for me because it's, it means a lot. This, every single one of you is making my dream come true to be able to teach. And it just, you know, I had tears in my eyes just reading comments and getting it so really big thank you sincerely from my heart and uh, just can't do without every one of you and uh, it's, it's mind blowing I can't I really can't believe it. it's just on really you know being able to do this and really is a huge dream of mine and so thank every single one of you and keep it up keep the support up and I'll keep trying to make good videos and keep teaching and that's about it. That covers everything. And I'll get started with this video. We'll start this. And you can see the Jeep behind me. We are a big Jeep family. We got a old Jeep and this other one. Thanks, everyone. Next, this character is called Hizoka, I believe. Hizoka. Hizoka. But he's from the, the anime Hunter x Hunter. And this is a quick sketch I did last night. And I was having a blast drawing. I love this small book because I go to sleep and I you know put it on my chest while I'm drawing and just a great way to go to sleep and really happy how that Batman Beyond came kind of a side view uh, with a little dagger really really happy how that came then like an older version of Batman then like a little Marilyn Monroe type anime sketch uh, just a couple little practice things little female or male back kind of female yeah just practicing but really love this sketchbook and one of the viewers asked, will you show your sketchbook? And probably when I get this all filled up, I'll do a video just on the sketchbook. And pretty soon I'm going to have a video showing my artworks that I do. Uh, so thanks for the request. This was requested by General Gameable, I believe is pronounced. But a really great friend on here. So this is for you, man, if you're watching. Uh, he's a really good friend. I met him on here. We actually talked on Skype the other night other day we talked on Skype and his, name, his name's John I believe he's from Australia so thank you man let's get started with this so this will be the front view of him and I'm going to do half the body so you get the main suit but I'm going to start with a basic frontal face feature and I, I was really excited about drawing this character and the biggest reason I was excited is because uh of his style. He's got this little, these two little marks on his face and the costume and I like drawing little symbols and little things. You know I really like drawing characters that have a lot of unique style and that's why I love, I haven't drawn too many anime drawings. I want to do more. If you have, I drew Light, uh, Light Yagami. I believe that's it from Death Note. I want to definitely get into more. Definitely get into more anime because uh, I love I love drawing. I just love the style. I love how to draw it. But for this character, notice I didn't draw a circle to start with because by eye I can kind of tell visually that there would be a circle in there. And so I'm just drawing that. And then you can make a guideline for the middle. You don't have to. But see, really basic head shape. And from the front view, it's pretty standard when you're drawing a face. But notice how elongated his chin is and it points. Then the neck. And make it stylized. How that's, that's a big thing I always say. Stylize your drawings. You don't want them to look stiff. You know, make marks that you feel would look better because it's your own individual drawing. You don't want to copy anything. You want to have a good time. That's the fun part. But basically, there's this little piece on the neck. So I'm just going to draw this little piece in. And for the costume here, uh, kind of comes out. And all I'm doing is it comes down in a curve like this, and then real easily. Notice it's about as big as the face. So once again, using your proportions, look at it visually. And like I said, being that it's a front view, I'm not drawing a circle for the torso. I'm kind of just feeling it out with the pencil. But basically, it's like a shape like that. Then you have the torso here. It's real skinny torso, pretty skinny. And it's kind of got ridges throughout it. We'll get back to that. Uh, then the arms have these little puffy things at the end. It reminds me of like little shoulder things. And they just jut out. So just do that. And basically with the arms, 
they have more of these little design, the same design in the neck. I'm not going to sketch, I'm not going to draw the lines in yet for them, just get an outline. Then same on this side, just kind of follow along. Now you got that basic drawing done. Let me check, it's on camera. Let me move it up a little while. Wow. So you got that basic drawing done here. Uh, so for the arms, just real simple bicep shape that kind of gets skinnier. Uh, everybody, you know, when you learn anatomy, you really get an idea of what the muscles look like it, as you start to look at different styles and people drawing. You can see the similarities in the anatomy at the same time people add their own lines and style and things and that's what makes drawing so unique everybody. And that's kind of what's stressed in the Batman Beyond drawing. But I'm keeping the arms really simple. They're fairly skinny. No, it's not too super muscular. And I'm not going to worry about the arms or lower hands that much. I want to get the main design because that is the main character doing these shapes that we're going to do. So for the hair, his hair kind of sticks upward and uh, just like this, it kind of pushes up. The hair is fun to draw. I need to practice a lot more. But notice how they're just strands. It kind of follows this little pattern where it goes like that and comes down like that. So kind of like that. And just these real squiggle lines. They're actually more squiggly than straight lines. I'm just going to sketch it. Each little hair kind of does its own little vein. It almost looks like, if it almost honestly, without the squiggle lines, it's as though you're drawing a flame, a fire. So you just kind of make it look like fire. That's my best advice. But remember, add the squiggly lines within it to keep it. Lots of squiggly lines with the hair. And you can erase the guideline to start with around the head. And how, ma how many of you have watched this anime? I've actually not heard of it until uh, General Gameable mentioned it to me. So I'm really curious to hear what, what animes you watch. I'm probably going to try to do a Death the Kid drawing soon. But, you know, just make squiggly lines where you feel fit. Uh, there's no rule with drawing hair in terms of how much you do. But you definitely want it to keep a flow. You don't want one line to crisscross another you know it's the kind of design the hair you like and I'll go back and shade it in be that's darker ultimately that looks pretty good for the hair right now nothing fancy and then for the eyes here's a big thing about anime and characters in general remember eyebrows nose and eyes the way the shapes are and with his eyes you can make a line right about there and I'm going to use my mechanical because it's very small uh, detail, but ultimately has these. First, draw the eye, and we'll start with the eye, and real slender eye, and it's curving downward. Notice how it just curves in, like that, and the the peak of it ends at a point, a point, and they're very skinny. And it's got another thing, so something like that to make simple eye shape, and this kind of curves in. So you don't want to overwork it, but keep it very small, and then a very, very small pupil, and usually. Uh, usually evil characters uh, have gen generally smaller eyes and pupils and things, you know, but basically keep it the same on both sides. This side might be a little smaller. I'm just kind of working it in more. Another little pupil. Just judging, you know, not not 100% worried about getting it. We just see the eye, and then generally with the eye, with his eye generally, or his eye, he has these little marks because they're kind of the crease of the eye, and that's how our eyeballs are in general. Then for the eyebrows, real important you get the eyebrows right. They come up, then they arch down, and as they get to the points, they get skinnier and skinnier. So that's important you get that, and same on this side, kind of gets wider up here, then it gets skinnier, so same on this. Like that. So follow that. So you got the eyes in now. Uh, kind of work. Let's work these lines in more so you can see. So this will make darker. You can see how his eyes look. 
the way they're formed. And the nose, the nose kind of juts, will make it go into the right a little. But basically it's a line that goes straight down and then another little line. And you'll see part of it, so part of it will come out. And you can shade that in. Then a little nostril, just a tiny little nostril. That's why I like anime a lot, because so many subtle little marks. So you really have to pay attention to everything you draw. I'm just making this line a lot darker. Uh, I'll go back over all that. You can see now the basic thing. Then the mouth. Lips come in. You can give them a little tiny smile like an evil grin. So it kind of has this face. Kind of looks like that. Oh man, my lid broke. Kind of looks like that for the face and the neck. So let's work on the costume. Very important. First, erase your guidelines before you put more detail on. But uh, very, very important now that you got that. You got two marks on the face. A star on this side. So just sketch a little star. And I love doing this. This is what I love because now that you got the hard stuff out of the way, the face, you can start adding little things to it. And so a little star here. Not the best of drawing stars. There's one, and then the other side's like a little droplet shape, almost a teardrop, but it gets very skinny. There you go. So you got that. So for the ears, his ears are kind of realistic, but when it comes to ears in general, you want to capture the ear quality. It doesn't have to look realistic, but as long as you get the little flap on the top and then a couple lines on the inside. Uh, every artist does ears different. St uh, for example, I mention him a lot, but Jim Lee, if you notice, sometimes if you look at some of his drawings, the ear won't be exactly 100% anatomically like an ear. I mean, it looks like an ear, but you have to kind of see it to see what I'm talking about. Like, it looks like an ear, and it is an ear, but it doesn't have to be exactly like one in terms of every little crease and fold and that's kind of thing. But with the neck part, it's got these little rolls and they're like little circle things. So start at the first one and then just make a crease and I believe it's three that go all the way down. I hope you're enjoying this general gameable. And I hope I'm saying your name right. I'm so bad at pronouncing and reading things. But please tell me if you like this. I hope it helps you draw, man. So then you got one here, another, and then that one on the bottom. So I'm just keeping it real simple now. Then this is the fun part, the outfit. So you have a little draw mark here coming down, kind of fold and and come up like this. So be kind of stylized with your lines. And then wherever this meets, you can add some creases if you want, make it it's all up to you. I'm just going to keep it simple. Crap. And keep the line going down. And just follow these lines. And if you notice, line weight is a very important tool. I kind of briefly mentioned it, but line weight is the thickness of the line. Look how thick that line is compared to the face. All these elements of art are very important when you're learning and you're getting better. Line weight is huge. Because obviously with this this costume he has on, I want it to stand out more. It's thicker. It's like a thicker cloth. It's thicker than his skin or his arms. So I wanted these lines to look thicker. So that's a huge tip. And especially when you start getting good at it, when you get really good at utilizing it, you'll see a difference. And of course you'll see a lot of anime, manga artists, they'll always use it too for things that are closer to the, the viewer. Uh, lots of things. And please, let, please in the comments, please let me know if these tips help. I'm begging you. Because uh, I really, you know, my goal is to teach you how to draw the character. But like I mentioned in my introduction video, my biggest goal is uh, to teach in general. To teach you advice and tips. And that's, that's something I really try to make different with my channel. Is I want you guys to learn... So you can kind of get better. But then for this, on this side you got a spade shape. So real quick I'm just going to lightly sketch it. don't want to make a finished thing yet. Just bring it up. Like that. So that's about right. 
the little circle, it's got these three circles. So one, and as you can see, I'm lightly sketching it. Then another, and you want to make them about all the same. So just draw these circle shapes, then one more. Like that. And then this comes up. This arch is over. Like that. And on this side you have a clover, the clover, I believe it's a spade, or this is the clover, I'm sorry, and this is spade shape. So just come up. You always have to remember the cloth that's on and it comes up like that and just bring it down. And see how it's kind of a little lower on that side because cause the shirt is going downward with the curve of the body. I'm just making these lines thick. I'm just varying the lines here and there. Oh, fun. I really, really was excited to draw this one, like I said, because I like the design, I like the look. And, uh, three little things again. I'm just following the little sketch outline we made. Try to get your lines cleaner than mine kind of rush that. And for the body, you're going to see the back side of this shirt. So it's almost like tube shave. Then three, four marks. This is going to make a one, but I'm just going to do one, two, three, and then four. Notice I'm doing the outline first. That way I can connect them. It's easier for me. So make the creases. And they, I don't think they go all the way around, but just vary the creases, make this side a little longer, you know, just to make it stylized. And erase this. So let's finish the arms and the bottom part of the pants. So real simple bicep, I'm not going to do anything special, just a real basic, basic bicep shape. And notice how, notice how the bicep is bigger and then as it gets to the forearm here, it gets wider. And I love drawing arms. Uh, I love to draw arms. I love to draw legs. I just like the shapes they form. And so real simply, you got that shape. Let me make sure it's on camera here. So you got that shape. And same on this side. And this bicep's a little bit more facing and frontwards. So don't worry about getting too fancy on the arms. Well, kind of like that. And the hands would come down. He's got those band things on the hand. For the pants, he has this little jacket. So it's just a jacket. It comes down, you know, so I'm not going to worry too much about that, but as long as you got the main parts in, you should be good. Kind of try to get the rest in, but there's pretty much the drawing real quick. I'm going to finish doing this, the final. Thanks everyone for watching, I really appreciate it and really hope you like it, man. I'm so happy you requested it. It's, I'm very happy with all the people I meet on here. You, you guys have been very friendly and it, it just makes me happy because, you know, a lot of times I, when I first was doing this, I got nervous, like what, how people would react, you know, and luckily it's been very good. People have been honest with me, people have been sincere, honest, helpful, and can't thank you guys enough. You know, it's just amazing, the, the thing, but basically that's it, and then just go back and shade these areas, you know, look at the beginning to do the shading. This will be shaded, put an X there. These are shaded, so I'm putting X's. Uh, this will be a lighter shade. All the circles will be a lighter shade. And then for the hair, uh, real quickly to do the hair, I would just shade it in certain areas. So kind of like if there's a clump here, just shade that a little, then shade this little clump. So kind of just go at it now and 
really designed. But thanks for watching, everyone. More videos on the way. Thanks, guys.